Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni Global, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. The current lesson gives a brief introduction to bits, bytes, qubits, and other data measurement units in computing. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy the content. And okay, let's now get into the video and explain bits, bytes, qubits, and similar data measurement units. Let's start with bits. Bits, these very small portions of data, ones and zeros, used to represent numbers, text, and anything else in the digital world. So what are bits? Bits are the smallest units of data used in computing. A bit is a single unit of data which takes only two possible values, zero or one. One bit can store anything which has separate states, for example, logical values like true or false. Uh, for example, is the registration open now or it is closed? Algebraic signs like uh, plus and minus, uh, for example, positive number or negative number. Activation states like on or off, for example, the whites are switched on or the whites are switched off. And in the computer memory, bits don't stay alone. They are organized in sequences of 8 bits called byte or sometimes octets. These are the machine words. Some machines use 8-bit words, others use 16-bit words, why you, uh, others use 32-bit uh, words, but usually bits in memories, in the memory of the computer, are accessed in groups, bytes in most systems. This is the reason why the capacity of computer memory is measured in bytes and megabytes, not in bits and megabits. Now let's explain the other popular digital units of measure, such as kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and others. So let's start with the units of measuring data in the computer science, which we already mentioned, and extend this to, to the others. So we will talk about bits, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, etc. Bits hold a single value, 0 or 1. So, uh, it represents a bit of data, a very small portion of data. The bit is the smallest data unit in computing. Bytes, uh, which are also known as octets, consist of 8 bits. These 8 bits groups are the smallest addressable units in the computer memory or at least for most computers. The microprocessor, the so-called CPU, can read and write data from the memory as bytes or sequences of bytes, but can only directly read, cannot uh, directly read fractions of a byte, for, for example, three bits or seven uh, bits. To illustrate this, I can, you can imagine that the memory is something like this. So it's split into eight bytes, eight bits, another eight bits, another eight bits, another eight bits. So you can read this or you can read this, but you cannot read a portion or a subset of this. You cannot read this bit only. You always read the entire byte. This is how it works. Qbytes or KB, or sometimes it's denoted by KB, or sometimes denoted but KIP, which is maybe more correctly, consists of 124 bytes in the, at least in the field of information technologies. In some contexts, uh, unfortunately, uh, one kilobyte can mean 100 bytes, not 124, which comes from the widely accepted prefix Kilo, kilo uh, could mean uh, 1000 in the mathematics. Uh, and for example, the hard drive manufacturers use 1000 bytes based 
kilobytes to measure the hard drive capacity. So have in mind that hard drives are smaller than their label in the shop uh, says. For example, if you have uh, two terabytes uh, hard drive, it is usually less than two terabytes uh, measured in normal terabytes based on 124 bytes uh, um, counting. Uh, example of kilobytes uh, is where we have a newspaper article or news newsletter, uh, which typically one article can hold a few kilobytes of text, letters, characters, uh, etc. So the next uh, measurement unit is called megabytes or MB. Uh, it is consists of 124 kilobytes. Me one megabyte is 124 kilobytes or 1 million and how to pronounce this 48,576 bytes. So this is one megabyte, uh, uh, which, for ex which can be used like this. Um, for example, megabytes uh, are used to measure photos taken to it through your smartphone camera, or um, it is typically several megabytes, two or three of compressed data holding the image pixels and the colors of the, the pixels your photo consists of. Gigabytes is another popular measure in, in computer science. So it consists of 124 megabytes. Uh, so one gigabyte holds 1,073,741,080 bytes. Uh, <laughs> this one. And for example, of uh, where we use gigabytes is when we record a one hour uh, long video, uh, which is compressed in full HD quality. It typically uh, takes few gigabytes of storage on your drive or in internet on in your cloud. In the same way, uh, the next unit is a terabyte or TB. One terabyte, uh, denoted as TB, consists of 124 gigabytes, or this one number of bytes. I cannot pronounce it. Uh, one terabyte holds nearly 1.1 trillion bytes. One terabyte hard drives, for example, typically store a few hundreds of full HD uh, movies. Maybe you, you have experience with this. Uh, the other measurement is petabyte, PB petabytes, uh, which are 124 uh, terabytes and one petabyte holds nearly 1.13 uh, quadrillions of bytes. So modern data centers provide and manage storage with capacity of multiple petabytes, sometimes multiple exabytes, the next measurement unit. And the next units after petabyte are exabytes. Uh, let, let's write it uh, e, EB, exabyte, and zettabyte, ZB, and yottabyte, YB. It's unlikely that you will handle such amounts of data soon, but uh, basically these are the uh, measurements used in computer science and in software engineering. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Yes, completely free. So join now, softuni.org. Check out my other videos from Dev Concept Series where I explain and demonstrate many modern concepts and technologies from the software development industry. Type in the comments below what topic you would like to see next. Goodbye, see you in my next video.